everybody. It's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, remember those placemats? Oh, we're going to make a bag. You guys, do you remember that video I showed you where I went to Dollar Tree and I bought these tapestry? Look at how, I don't know which way they go. But anyways, I bought these placemats. I got two of them. And I said I had an idea. Okay, well, I did. So anyways, in my stash, I have these, are they grommets? Eyelets, they're extra large eyelets. I had no idea what I was going to do with them, but I knew I didn't want to throw them away. <gasps> and then, of course, I have this as well. You can get these at Walmart. You could get these at Joanne Fabrics. I believe Michaels has them as well. Obviously, Amazon has everything. But I got these, and I've got some Dollar Tree on this white rope. So, oh, and I almost forgot. You also need, because this is a no-sew project, friends. <laughs> All right, so this is hem adhesive. This is um, the super weight, and it has a whole bunch of different um, widths, and I'm gonna use one of the smaller ones. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so take your placements, and you're going to cut each one, the sides and the bottom off. Leave the top alone. Don't cut the top, okay? Okay, then we're gonna take our heat and bond strips, and you're gonna do one for each side and one for the bottom. And you're going to be putting them on the right side. See how this is the, this is the the way that you would put it on a table, right? That's the part you're going to be putting your heat and bond right on the edge. Perfect. Then after that, you're going to put the other placemat that you cut on top of it, so you have right sides together. You're going to sandwich those, I don't know, heat and bond strips in there. Now you're going to iron it. You're going to just hold the iron. You're going to be tempted to iron it like you would iron a shirt and move it back and forth. Just hold it there. It's going to melt. And then when it does, it's gonna adhere. Let it cool. Once you let it cool, then you're gonna turn your bag out right side. Look at how fun is this? Okay, then I just, I'm just using masking tape to figure out where I, my placement is, but I'm gonna pop a little hole in my fabric and then I'm using these extra large eyelets. And this is the eyelet setter. The eyelets you have a spiky one and then you have this other one. Um, the non-spiky one you're gonna put through that hole you made and it's probably going to be a tight fit, and that's okay. Stretch it around there. Then put your spiky one on top of that. The spikes go towards the fabric. Then there's this circle thing. Forgive me, I don't know the words, but it's a circle thing. You're going to put that on the right side. Then take the little tool that goes on the ends that goes in the middle, and you're going to hammer it so that it makes the two squeeze together. And there you go. Are you kidding me? Now you're going to do that four times, right? Oh, look at we're making a bag. Isn't it so beautiful? All right, calm down. Now we're going to take our um, rope that we got at Dollar Tree and we're going to just tie, you know, put it through the eyelet. Then we're going to tie a knot at the end so it doesn't go all the way through. And hello, there's your handle. And you're going to do that also on the other side. Are you kidding me? Look, <laughs> I love it. I mean, I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea. I almost said bag of tea, but... <laughs> And here I am being silly. But anyways, friends, how much fun was this? I hope this inspires you. Mm -hmm.